Good morning. Welcome to the News Hub. I'm Rolf Winkler. Egypt's interim government moved a step closer to reviving the police state of the hated Mubarak regime a day after police gunned down at least 74 supporters of ousted Islamist President Mohamed Morsi. Wall Street Journal's Matt Bradley is in Cairo. Matt, good morning. Good morning. Okay, so tell us quickly, describe the policies that, that are being put back in place. Well, the new president just charged the prime minister with the uh, the authority to allow soldiers to arrest civilians. So this is something like a step toward, a little bit toward martial law. And then at the same time, or not, I'm sorry, a day before on Saturday, Egypt's Minister of Interior gave a press conference where he said that they were going to be reviving or reconstituting one office within the Ministry of Interior that specialized in monitoring uh, religious extremists and Islamist movements. And so that was a very threatening move because this office in the past under Hosni Mubarak was responsible for some very serious abuses. Where are these policies coming back? Well, they're right now essentially coming back with the will of the Egyptian public. Uh, General Abdel Fattah Sisi, who is the uh, Minister of Defense here in Egypt, he said a few uh, last week that he wanted to see the Egyptian public go down to the street and demonstrate to give him a mandate to confront terrorism. And now, it's not exactly clear what the mandate would be, what the confrontation would look like, or who the terrorists are. But it was widely understood that he wanted Egyptians to come down to show their support for his proposed effort to crack down on the Muslim Brotherhood and the protesters in Rabal Adawaya Square who are backing to post President uh, Mohamed Morsi. This is uh, fraught with, with very, very uh, problematic implications for the Egyptian polity, really, as it goes forward, because we're talking about, about really cracking down on, what, a third of the population is, is affiliated with the Muslim Brotherhood? How, how many people are, are targeted as, quote, terrorists? No, it's not really considered to be a third. It's considered to be very quite small, maybe in the hundreds of thousands for a country of about 93 million people. However, there's a lot of Brotherhood sympathizers and a lot of people who are really quite upset with the fact that um, Mohamed Morsi was ousted from the presidency. But when we're talking about public sentiment, we have to remember that on Saturday, shortly before the Minister of Interior spoke, about 70 people were gunned down by the police, 70 supporters of the ousted President Mohamed Morsi. And the public reaction was essentially to say, though there was much hand-wringing and much concern over what was clearly an excessive use of force, there was a lot of people who said that they shouldn't have been in the square, they shouldn't have been protesting to return Mr. Morsi to power, and that they knew that there was going to be a crackdown because Abdul Fattah Hassisi had basically warned him. So the Egyptian public is ready and essentially, in, in large numbers, asking for these types of measures. Islamists do represent a fairly large, they, they did, after all, elect, uh, a democratically elect a, a president to replace Hosni Mubarak. It just seems like the, the Islamists, the secularists in Egypt, they just can't live together. Yeah, it's, uh, it's getting to that. And it's a very, as I said earlier, it's a very, very dangerous moment here in Egypt because this is a country of 93 million people. It's the largest country in the Arab world. It really kind of sets the rhythm for the rest of the Arab world. And right now, we're seeing a very, very deep schism in this country uh, because you're right. One year ago, Mohamed Morsi was elected president in elections that were considered free and fair by a majority of the voting public. And every other time that the Egyptian public has been to vote, they voted in favor of Muslim Brotherhood candidates or positions that were backed by the Muslim Brotherhood in, in two separate referendums. So it's very, very dangerous because a lot of people have changed their minds since Mr. Morsi took office. But at the same time, a lot of them are very upset that their vote has been rendered essentially null and void by this military coup. Matt Bradley in Cairo, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.